According to a 2023 study, a single AI prompt like this can use over half a liter of water. But ChatGPT CEO Sam Altman said his system uses about one fifteenth of a teaspoon per prompt. So why do AI systems need water? AI systems rely on data centers, which are huge warehouses filled with servers. These energy-intensive server farms generate an enormous amount of heat. To regulate the temperature of servers, companies use massive cooling towers filled with water. The fluid absorbs the heat, turns it into vapor and condenses it, cooling down the servers. But fresh water needs to be constantly pumped into the facility for the process to work. Another study claims that by 2027, AI systems will be consuming up to 66 billion cubic meters of water per year. But there's a bigger problem. Experts say most data centers are built where electricity is cheap and not where water is necessarily plentiful. So what happens when they're placed in areas that are already facing water scarcity? You feed machines, but you cannot feed people. Uh, you have a little bit of a problem. But I think for governments, they need to be very careful about prioritizing uh, the short term versus the long term. A recent investigation found that 38 major data centers run by Microsoft, Google and Amazon were built in water stressed areas. So who's holding these tech giants accountable? Right now, there are no global laws regulating AI's environmental footprint. Most companies self-report their water and energy use. I wouldn't say from a personal perspective that the AI companies are being very transparent on this matter and addressing sustainability issues. Maybe at this level it's not a priority for them and the regulatory environment today makes it easier not to be transparent about this today. But not all is doom and gloom. Tech companies are implementing water positive solutions. Google and Microsoft have pledged to become water positive by 2030. Microsoft plans to roll out closed-loop zero-water cooling in newly built data centers by 2026, with all of its other server farms set to adopt the system in 2027. The system recirculates water between servers and chillers, eliminating the need for replenishment. I see a lot of um, innovative companies and, and startup founders working on how to create lower consumption uh, uh, in, in, in using AI. Um, so I, I think uh, new solutions come up uh, on, on those challenges. I, I think it's how you uh, use uh, the AI to optimize uh, the, the, the climate challenges we have or to optimize health and, and well-being. So the question isn't just how smart AI can become, it's also whether tech companies can find more sustainable ways to manage its rapid growth.